See, everything God is putting you through, God is allowing you to go through, has a role to play in your future. And you must pay attention to those seasons. So that you don't start doing catch up on your seasons. Every knowledge God is opening you to, every good knowledge, because of the kind of generation we have, if I say knowledge, now people think it's every kind of knowledge. Every good knowledge that God is opening you up. In fact, there's something about God that just makes God so faithful and awesome. God's plan is not for you to go through the difficult things you are going through in life. If you listen to God, there are certain difficult things that you are going through now that is unnecessary. God did not plan it for you. But there are certain difficult things that you go through that it is God's will that you pass through them. But when you go through the unnecessary difficult route that God did not plan for you, God still makes a provision on how to use that same difficult challenges that you have gone through to be a blessing to you. For example, if a woman gets raped, it was not God's will that she, she should get raped. It was not God's agenda. If she had been listening to the to the guidance of the spirit, that such, such thing would not happen to her. But since it has already happened, God will use that thing that the devil has inflicted into that lady to use it in a way to glorify himself in the future. Every plan the devil plans, God uses those plans to also perfect his will. That is why God is faithful. That's why we say God is faithful not because he answers your prayer. God is faithful because he's God. He's all-knowing. He's all, he's all seen. If you read the book of Ecclesiastes, there's a lot of things you understand. From the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and you read to 5, 6, there's a lot of things you understand. This is a man that I've tested everything in life and then he's speaking to you. If there's any person to listen to in the Old Testament and pay attention to the details of what he's saying, you see the book of Proverbs, you see the book of Psalms, you see the book of Ecclesiastes, Put attention to it. Now, I'm not saying you should pay more attention than that. I'm saying that if you're someone that you are, you, you want to financial open doors and the rest of them, you need to read the book of Proverbs, Psalms, and Ecclesiastic very well, attentively. Those three books are powerful books filled with so much wisdom. Then if you want to understand the beginning of all things, you go to the book of Genesis. If you want to understand the end of things, you go to the book of Revelation. If you want to understand the who God is, you go to the book of Matthew mark luke and john we want to understand the epistles of course you now start moving to the book of corinthians peters and the rest of them praise the lord jesus